good day to you. Hope you're doing well as you start off this new week. David here with you. And, yeah, well, hey, we're talking about bouncing and trying. Body, mind, spirit. And I found out that's how I had been taking care of my health and wellness. And all three play an integral role. So I'm sharing tips with you so you can do it for yourself. But more importantly than that, you can learn to figure out what works for you and what incorporates in your life, what you like, what you don't, so you'll actually stick with your routine and actually improve your health and wellness. At the same time, we're going to kind of do something about that aging thing because a lot of stuff we blame on aging actually isn't. It's due to neglect the abuse of your body and mind and spirit. So let's try to change things up a little bit. All right, so today's topic, yeah, I'm a little scruffy today. I went a couple days without shaving. But... When we come to health and wellness, we know the physical part because that's what a lot of people think about. Maybe it's weight loss, maybe it's nutrition, um, blood pressure, stuff like that. But yet, you've got to realize the mental and the spiritual is just as important. That's why it's body, mind, and spirit all integrated together. And at times, though, your mental may be more powerful and more important than anything else because your mental aspect decides whether you're going to do anything for your physical or your spiritual. Are you going to give it? Are you going to choose to eat healthy and exercise, or you not? Are you going to choose to do some meditation, get connect yourself and others, or you're not? That has to do with the mental part. And I bring this particular thing up today because right now, in at least Northern California, I've been reading some Facebook posts, even a little farther south. There's it's really windy out there, and I do know the forecast was talking about that. I was going to have some heavy winds, and I know. For some friends I have, uh, pg and already shut off their power for at least probably a day. So they got generators running. And with the wind, a good chance more power, either from PG being shut down or the wind can blow power out itself. So it's going to be, it can be an interesting day, especially for those of us that rely on electricity. Well, we know we rely on that for everyday lives, but sometimes when you deal with your work, that can definitely play a big factor. And I know when I get my workout in today, part of that is doing farmer's walks in which the particular way I'm doing is taking free weights, the big plates, and I got some chains and some handles so I can hold them on my side. It ain't going to be fun because that wind's going to be blowing those things around, and I got a five 200-meter sprints, which is not going to be fun either. So for me personally, that's why I was thinking about that, going how much of a challenge I'm not looking forward to it today, is why I was mentioned about how mental game. Your mental game can play is a huge factor. So it's just... Again, most of the time we think about the health and wellness, the physical aspect, but you need to make sure you keep in mind the mental and the spiritual. Spiritual, for those of you who may not have heard about this, I break spiritual down into, well, I was taught this as well, and it came from a couple of different areas, but spiritual health, you look at your personal spirituality, your connection to yourself, your values and morals, what you stand for. Communal spirituality, those people around you, how to get your group, how you surround you with, and environmental spirituality which is literally your environment, whether it's your home, but as well as nature, connection with nature, and if you choose so, to believe in a higher power, all those tie in. So you can see how mental plays a part in that, whether you decide to do meditation, do any type of reading, spend some quiet time by yourself, reach out to people. The mental game is all important. And with mental, I break it down into the analytical part, which is making sure you work on the analytical stuff. So the memory, math skills, uh, logic, all that. Look at the creative part. What gets your creative juices flowing? And then the subconscious, because subconscious controls the, controls the show, and that's making sure you're aware of everything that you put in. What you think, what you watch, what you hear, what you listen to, all that plays a factor in the subconscious, which is one of the reasons why myself and many other very successful professionals always say, turn the news off, because that's negativity. It's designed to instill fear in you, not make you feel good. So turn that news off. But yeah, it's the mental gaming. It, and right now, especially we're, we're, today's Monday, so it's the start of a new week. How are you going to choose to do it? Will you start off bad or good? It doesn't matter how it starts off and how you, you choose to end it. Because you probably may have noticed sometimes where maybe the alarm got late or spilled some toothpaste and like that. And if you choose to, if you choose to focus on that, the rest of your day is going to go like that because that's what you're looking for. Ah, great. To start off the day wonderful, it's going to be just one, just one crappy day. You believe that? You think it, you'll start looking for information for it, and sure enough, it will come true. But on the other hand, if it's something happens, you're like, nah, okay, no big deal. Nah, it's just the way of the morning, just this little 
Just the five minutes that happened this morning, the rest of the day is going to be fine. You do that, you believe it, you look for it, it's going to happen. So the mental game is probably one of the most important ones, which is actually why a lot of the videos I do have to do with the mind. Have to do with the mind and the concentration to them is because that plays such a huge factor. So take those here. Here we are at the start of the week. What type of week are you going to have? What type of day are you going to have? It's your choice. Now that doesn't mean that some uh, unplanned things will, won't happen. There's a good chance they might. Some things doesn't mean you're going to like them. However, remember, circumstances do not have meanings until you sign, sign one to them. That's what happens. The event happens. We give it a thought about it. We assign a story to it, and that's where our feelings come from. It's your choice to change it. And also remember, and follow me for a while, emotions only last 90 seconds. You hang on to it, write it out. If they last longer than that, it's that story you attach to it that you keep telling yourself over and over again. All right, so be aware of your mental game. Let me know your thoughts on the mental game. And if you like what you're hearing, if you want some more information on it, I got free training in the description, description here. There's a link to the Facebook group where you get free training there about doing health and wellness your way. Going to get you started and let you start going through the process of what you can do to take care of yourself in ways that you want to, ways that you like and fit into your life. All right, so that's what I got for you today. Um, take care. We'll catch you tomorrow. So bouncing to you. Bye-bye.